Don't you just love fringe? Want to see how to make this necklace scarf? Stay tuned. So here's the original scarf here. All that we're going to do is show you what you need for this DIY. This DIY will only use one large t-shirt of your choice or color. You kind of want to get the fabric, the kind of t-shirts that are a little bit thicker in weight. The light ones will work too, but it will give a different look to the, to the scarf. You want a pair of scissors and an iron to make this fringe scarf. So let's jump straight into it and show you what you do. So you lay out your shirt on a flat surface, um, keeping the edges of the fabrics together on this end, the bottom end of the shirt. And then you want to just kind of iron it out so that the fabric is nice and wrinkle free. I don't want it to snag like that. You want to push downwards towards the bottom. Pressing lightly. Once you've done that, you want to establish the line from which you want your fringe to start. How long you want your fringe, because this will be the neck part of the fringe. So for this one, I want it up higher than the other one. The, the original fringe scarf. So I'm going to cut mine from right underneath the armpits of the shirt, straight across. If you have a rotary cutter, you could cut it evenly straight, but all I need is scissors. <laughs> from that, you have just the bottom half of the shirt. And all that you do, from the center of the shirt, you can fold it over to find the center, like so, and you want to clip, so that you'll know where the center of the shirt is to begin creating your fringe. And you're not going to cut all the way through this line, you're going to cut to this line, to the bottom of the of the shirt that's already there, that, that hem that's already there. And I'm just going to do that now. Cutting straight down the center to there, leaving just that so you'll have that extra piece, as you can see. They're, all, they're still going to be cut together. And you're going to continue to do that for the whole scarf. I just cut, the way I like to do it and get it done faster is by doing, you just straight down the center of each square. however wide you want to make them like if you want to stop there you can stop there but I'm going to continue and make the strips smaller like so so then once you go ahead and you've done all of them you will have you stretch it you pull it like that and that creates your fringe for your fringe scarf or fringe necklace. And you just continue to do that. I'll be back to show you the final. Okay, so we're back, and I just wanted to come back and show you the mid process of the of the um, fringe scarf necklace. And this is the side that I've already cut. Like I've cut both sides, as you can see. And this is unpulled, and this is pulled um, of the fabric. So you can see how it elongates and it becomes like the fringe. So I'm just going to continue to pull these and I'll come back and show you my end results. So this is the final look at the fringe yellow scarf necklace. I like to wear it kind of like this, very long as you can see. And this with the scarf thing, necklace, necklace, scarf thing, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it a necklace. 
So it's a necklace. And um, with this, you can do so many different things. Like, say if I had this on with a different shirt, I'd wear it, like, kind of off the shoulder. So it'll be... You know, kind of like a throw maybe. You know, something different. If you guys would like to see a video on how I would style something like this, you know, just give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment and let me know and I'll push that out. Because that sounds kind of fun. Yeah. So, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this, thumbs up. And I'll see you all in my future videos. Bye-bye.